Okay, Michael and Armida, I'm at 12821 Seahorse. So it's got three car tandem garage through this. Has a really nice sidings with a stone. Has a porch right in front. And we'll go inside. Okay, so as you come to through the entry door, we have a really nice uh, wooden floor here. Uh, so hardwood doesn't seem to be laminate floor, uh, but from the staircase and up, I believe those are laminates. So these seem to be, to me, has great uh, um, engineered wood. And to the right, there is like a little sitting area. So this could be just a sitting area, living room, or a former dining, I would think. And to the right, there is another sitting area like. So I would use this as a sitting area and over there as a former uh, dining. So they did put a crown molding, as you can see. And shutters so far on every window that I've seen, so which is nice. Let's check this side out first. And here is a powder room. It's got a Pedestal sink, crown molding even in here, and here is the garage, it's got two car garage, it's tandem, oh it's not tandem, sorry about that, it's two car garage, so what they did was they uh, had an option of having a three car tandem, but now uh, they have chosen an option to turn this area into a bedroom. So it's like a guest quarter downstairs. Pretty nice size. Very nice size actually. And over here is kitchenette. <coughs> Excuse me. So there is a microwave. That's where the refrigerator sits. And it's got a drain sink. And that's a closet right there. And here is in suite bathroom. There you go. So it has crushed marble. The floor is tile. And there's a shower. There's no tub, but it's got a walk-in shower. Okay. And here is a closet. Okay, as I go around, I'll start turning the lights off as well. So, uh, we've seen this uh, former dining and here is a huge family room open to a kitchen. So there you go. So it's just really long, uh, very good size uh, center island here. And it has a beautiful panda lights, recess lights all over. Plenty of recess lights. I'm wearing a mask, so I hope you can understand exactly what I say. Um, okay, so right there is a workstation, and that's where the refrigerator goes. And we've got a fiber on a cooktop. Oh, it looks very powerful. Um, Hood. And here's a GE profile microwave 
and there is an oven. It's also G profile and it's a convection oven. And there is a dishwasher right there. And here's a view out to the family room. So you have a lot of option. So you could actually have a former dining area here too, if you want. And here is the family room, that's for sure. And there is a fireplace. And right there, we have all the hookups for the TVs, right there. Once again, the crown moldings everywhere. Not everywhere, but uh, in the family room and some uh, other rooms. And I love this slider. It's huge. It's got four sections. It does not fold, but you can open both of these doors wide. So you can, oh, there are mosquitoes coming in. I need to, I'm gonna shut it down. I don't know why today we have a lot of mosquitoes. Okay, so there is a California room right here. It's pretty long. Nice and lush backyard. There you go. Now let's check out the other side of the house. Okay. So if you want, you could turn this into an RV access. That's because it's wide enough. Okay, but you gotta put a gate over there. Very nice and quiet. And there's a balcony up there. Uh, right there. Okay. And we'll check this side of the house. Right here. So it's got concrete slab with the drains, which I like. And let's go back inside. So far, personally, I like everything that I've seen so far. It just needs a little bit of a cleaning. Deep cleaning uh, might be nice. And let's go upstairs now. So that's the front entry. And here is a stairway. So from here, we have a different type of hardwood uh, floor. Uh, to me, it feels like laminate. Oh, it looks pretty good, very modern uh, design. And as we come to the landing, there's a loft. And you can see the shutters everywhere. And here is a laundry room upstairs. There's a gas hookup right there. And here's a drain. It's missing a pan, but it's not a big deal. You can buy it at a Home Depot. And there's a sink. And, well, let's check that side out first. So here's a loft. And we can go deeper inside. And there is a full bath. Same crushed mar marble. Light fixtures. It's a combo uh, shower and a tub. There's a tile. And here is a bedroom. Closet. And this room has its own bath. You know what? I think this is Jack and Jill. So it's got a uh, double sink. Light fixture, and there's 
toilet and a shower and a tub. Under the bedroom, pretty similar size. It's not a great huge room, but um, to me it feels like 10 by 10. A closet. Okay, and here is another bedroom. So we've seen four bedrooms so far. So all the rooms have its uh, uh, own ceiling lights. This room feels a little bit bigger than the other room, maybe 10 by 12 or so. Okay. And here's a linen closet right at the hallway. Okay, lastly, the master bedroom is right here. It's a pretty good sized room. Let go over to the other corner so you could get a better feel of this room. So over here, um, you already have outlets for TV, all hooked up okay so before we go to the master bathroom let's go check out the balcony so this balcony is exclusively for the master bedroom you have a view to a big bear right there big bear mountain nice view I like this view And the size of this balcony is pretty good. So I'm at the corner of this balcony. And it's pretty wide. I like this too. Okay. So now we'll check out the master bathroom. So here is a smaller closet. We have two closets in the master. So here's a smaller one. And over here, we have two totally separated sink. And large walk-in shower. Got a same uh, crushed marble. Nice and deep uh, soaking tub. Okay, now, yeah, this bathroom does have crown molding. And in the master, I'll show you later. It uh, also has a tray ceiling and a crown molding. So this is another uh, closet. It's just a tad uh, larger than the other bathroom, but good size. Good size. Okay. So let me get all the slides. So in this master bedroom, um, plenty of recess lights. It's got four recessed light, and there, right there, is a pre-wired um, junction box for your fan and lightings, additional lightings if you like. And yeah, okay. So house itself so far seems to be in a pretty good shape.
and just needs a little bit of cleaning uh, well deep cleaning is what I would recommend so this is it so if you have any additional questions uh, give me a call thank you Michael and Armida talk to you later bye